That's public meeting. There are other people in that room with a guest name tag on. No, you make your choice. Tell me right now. Are you going to arrest me for going in that room? You're not going in that room. I am going in that room. I'm going in that room. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No. Yeah, I am. No. Excuse me, sir. Don't, you, don't put your fucking hands on me. You're telling me you won't arrest me for going in that room, but you're using you're using your deputies to stop me from entering a public space. <laughs> There's no record of them getting approval from the commissioner's court to use this room for a private event. I'm to the commissioner. I've been to these meetings before, and they're public all the way through. I have never been made to leave. They're just mad because I'm documenting. I don't know why they're mad or what they're doing. It doesn't matter what you know or don't know. Your opinion really means shit, Murphy. What you're doing right now is you're using your fucking deputies as lynchmen for the GOP. I know you don't care because you get away with murder, right? Oh, yeah. You do. How's that? I'll tell you what, Murphy, since I got your full attention, how about I stand out here and talk to you right now? Why did your department cover up the murder of Lamont Stowers Jones? You don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about that, really, because I have every report, every call log, every note ever filed through your office, and I know this. You covered up the murder of Lamont Stowers Jones, just like your department or working with Barnes helped cover up the murder of Darius Tarver. <laughs> it's funny, huh? You think Darius Tarver, you think Darius Tarver's death is funny? Why are you laughing? Because you're an idiot. I'm an idiot? Yeah. You know what you are? You're a fucking thug. You're a fucking idiot. You were a white hat just like the clusters that came before. You're mad. Look how mad you are. What? You're fucking mad. I'm mad. You can hardly control yourself. Yeah, you killed your wife too. Get the fuck out of here. No. No. You can't make me. Don't you fucking touch me. Get the fuck off of me. Go. I'm in a public space. Go. No. Man, it's time to leave. Go. It's time to leave. Go. Let's go. Go. I'm in a public space. You told me I could be here. You can't make me leave just because you don't go. like what I say. Go. You can't change the law just because you don't like what I say. You're yelling. You're disturbing. I'm not yelling. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You didn't tell me to leave till I accused you of killing your wife. Don't you're just, care. you're just doing it because you're mad. I haven't killed anybody. Neither Never been accused of it either. Neither have I. You have too. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. No, I have. I've talked to several deputies who worked under you, and they know you killed her. You got an alcohol problem. You got a drug problem too. You're a liar. You were driving that cart drunk when you knocked her off and she hit her head. You can't kick me out just because you don't like what I have to say. You don't get to change the laws just because you're mad. You are not judge, like jury, and executioner here. Take three steps back from me, Sheriff. You're not wearing a mask, and you are within inches of me. That is a threat to my safety. <clears throat> you take three steps back. You're just like the Ku Kluxers that came before you wearing a white hat. Yours just isn't as pointy, dude. Oh, you don't want to talk to me anymore? I can't imagine why. <laughs> Thank you.